let's try and capture all of these videos. So my mans, if I just drag in a blueprint now, no, not the whole folder, you idiot. Just one, okay. Cool. Um, I mean, it's probably not that realistic that you would find a highway up on a mountain, but you know, whatever. Okay, so say for instance, you wanted to, uh, um, you know, kind of have a junction up here, like we can, I mean, we can need that, um, we need that one way. Uh, Alright, I'm watching most curious about the connection points, making intersections, especially the T section. Um, and going over decals and what else could be cool too. I just got packed last night and something pretty much fresh. Um, yeah, yeah, cool. And yeah, then over the next couple of days, once you start playing with it, if you start getting an idea about, um, you know, suggestions for the pack, then, then let us know because we've just been. We're taking all the ideas we can and just, and just uh, whack them all in the document and we'll be working on those for uh, until until we kind of keep hearing from you guys um so yeah if you add it in now nah, actually you know what i want to give me a junction man okay so give me a ramp um let's move this guy up a little bit um mm -mm -mm. Gonna just like you know what, let's take him round the edge of the mountain, right? Okay. So I don't have the latest on this file, but basically what we've been working on is the uh, terrain system. So we can basically come in here now. Actually, let me save this first. Okay, so basically now you can bring the terrain up to match it, but I don't know where I want, where do I want the terrain from? You know what, I'm pretty happy. Okay, you know what, because like you're going to have parts of your model where you don't necessarily want the train under everything. You're only going to want it from, you know, from where the where the base of the bridge finishes, right? So probably from there, I would say. So if you basically took that piece now, and you basically go down to the bottom. Um, I mean, it's probably, it might have a slight difference once you kind of push it, but you basically should be able to like pick the landscape. And then you'll say, we're going to see what happens with this. It might, it might explode. I oh, know that worked. Okay. So yeah, basically the train just comes up to um, to where your road is. And you can obviously you know, change the uh, the fall off of that. Um, let's do a bigger fall off, like maybe 600. Okay, cool. Yeah, man. So let's delete that because I mean we did, I think we didn't want the terrain on all of that please because I wanted to build like a road here for you so if we basically bring that back and we can kind of carry on where we kind of put that road across right and now my dudes we can come in here and we can make the second piece or third piece of ramp which one which one should we do let's say Let's say the second one. Let's make the second one a ramp. And. Mm, yeah. Actually, no, we're gonna need some space for that. So let's do it coming backwards. Alright, yeah, now we're talking. Um, one way. Yeah. I mean, keep it one way. That's alright. And just basically. I mean, that's the thing with these. You can always change them afterwards, you know? Like. I think telling you that you have to have to do it that way. So the same with this, like you don't have to even like rotate it. You just grab it and on the connections you put connect to target and then it just probably takes it for you. 
I taste it for you? Yeah, we taste it for you. So then you, know, you just kind of like change the local because it's always easier with the axes, and then kind of bring it down and kind of want to you know make it touch the touch the floor, right? Um, bring that down a bit. And just you know, somehow just playing with the with the curves, kind of get the uh, that one you want. And yeah, with this now you hit like bridge all. That's my favorite bit. That's also my favorite bit. Okay, and then bridge all again. So now everything has a bridge, and when you bake this, it'll bake perfect. Um. So yeah, see on here. Like you can even you could do this like in two uh, two spleens, or you can actually um, work on like each one. Uh, it's a certain way your rows need to be positioned to connect properly. Um, no, that's that's the thing is. I mean, I'm not saying, I and mean, it's not it's not word or magic. It's just the, um, the teammate TX pre did like a really tight job on the uh, blueprint, so. You could literally have this over here and just do something stupid to it and then hit connect the target and it snaps right back like it's, it's, it's crazy like you don't even have to be anywhere near it um yeah it just pops so it just basically takes like the nearest like junction and it, each one has like a socket and it's just basically finds in the nearest socket to your road and then it's just like transporting that motherfucker until it snaps on pop uh, perfectly and it also matches the tangent as well so you don't have to mess around with trying to align your shit correctly like it does it, it does it all for you and it works on like all the road pieces so if you want to change this now to go to like double lane and then just once again just tap it and just reconnects for you like honestly this is the easiest row pack ever invented um so yeah we could leave that as double you know but yeah the other thing about this as well like um obviously there's one of the cool things as well like if you can't reach an end let's say you're trying to match a suck it up and it's not quite reaching then there's uh, an end piece which kind of like gives you like a little bit of flexibility all these meshes are non-deforming so basically you'll see like nothing has been stretched or looks looks shit like a lot of, a lot of you know, some of the packs they they they, they stretch your shit but with this you know it will snap into um, a full piece once it's reached the you know the the, the correct size and you'll see that fizzing is basically when it's changing from like a full piece of mesh to the stretchy piece and then it swaps out then for another another full piece so where you see the lines where the light is not baked yet that's where the full pieces are and then this is the kind of the extended piece and if you don't want that you can always turn that off but um, it's just super handy to to get you to where you want to go um yeah and also on these pieces as well um, as well you can actually go into each piece and Turn on um, a really handy tool is the display road section. If you tick on that, it'll show you the number of all your uh, road pieces, right? So say after like ten, like we we don't we don't, kind of we want the. I mean, this is if you want to keep the same road piece, you'd basically just go in and you know whatever you do now, basically just only changes that one piece. So. We could just start like making exceptions for every single section. And that's what's the you know the, the the really cool thing about about this pack is you can just customize every every bit you want. And like I said, with that you know end piece, if you don't want it on the end because you're not really kind of utilizing it, then you can just come in here and you can just turn off the end piece if I can find it. Uh, end piece okay so you see that we now have a highway uh, and this is turning into a junction um, okay so on this piece now I think
think is that piece. We turn that piece into a three-way ramp. Um, and you're gonna wanna, you know, I just pull this down a piece like that. And that's pretty much it for the um, for the three-way. And then whenever now you wanna, mm, I kind of want that to bend around the corner a bit, but. Be careful you don't bend junctions too much because even though we've made a flexibility in the system, you don't want to deform the road so then your roads won't you know, connect properly. Um, so you're basically just dragging a new road and the same thing, connect to target. Actually, no, where, what do I do then? Um, yeah, okay. Um, connect to target and these ones have curbs or without curbs. You can kind of decide with that. Um, and go curb all. And then, yeah. And then basically, you can then start, like, you know, pulling this guy away. And. Um, taking this guy on a. On a wild goose chase. I mean, you would not want to drive down here, like. Pretty fucking dangerous, dude. Um, mm -mm -mm. But you can just start to see how flexible the whole road system is on this. Um, yeah. Do you have any more uh, questions, Hippie Cat? I wonder if I can just cut that piece into the road, into the hillside. Let's give it a try, man. Because um, we just started, well, we're not just started, we're just kind of finishing off the uh, the terrain tool. So, uh, it's still kind of like, you know, work in progress when we're playing with it. So, if you look at the way that road's coming down there, I think I want to want that to kind of curve a little bit. Oh, yeah, you can also curve the splines as well, so, so don't be afraid to. A little bit of curve to them. That's quite a tight curve, though. You know, like you, Grandma would break a fucking hip taking that curve. Um, okay, so let's select that and go connect to target. Not connect to target, you idiot face. We wanted to use the. Grab this. This might explode. Let's see what happens. Uh, oh yeah, look at that. Damn dog. Oh man, this is gonna be fucking good. I mean, because we obviously bend the curve. The, you know, Unreal's terrain tool isn't perfect, so you, you know you can still do like a little bit of cleanup. Basically, just involves you just like moving up your your mesh a little bit, or maybe just kind of tweaking it a little bit. The tool never will be perfect, but it it takes you a good way onto what you're doing. Um, very cool. I was making a three-way end pieces, so that was my problem. I was having there. You do show off the flexibility, and maybe you had to add the legs, and that'd be it. Yeah, man. Um, oh yeah, that's looking cool. Okay, so let's add the legs to this piece here. Um, so now if we get a bit more space on this, get out of the way you. Okay, so we're gonna turn the legs on. Turn those legs on. Um, I need to have that open to show you guys what I'm working on, right? Okay. So, if you go down to... So, whenever you want to uh, customize the individual section, just open the road data up. And then, always use that, that top tool to, you know, just see instantly which section you want to work on. Right? So, if we want to just like, turn on the legs for all, then you just turn the legs all a bit. And you kind of see there, all the legs are kind of uh, coming down. And obviously, a road of this width, it's going to need more legs than that. 
so let's just um let's also like put in more legs and two legs three i would say two is probably enough for a road like this right okay um what do you, what do you think that's enough legs you tell me hippie kit hippie hippie cat and yeah say for instance it's like this like we don't really need the legs on here um, so you can always you can always come in and you know make exceptions with these we, we don't have like le leg start or leg end so if you look at leg end you can see that it's counting the legs back from the beginning so you can say look I only want legs from this section to that section a uh, quick suggestion on the landscape planning if you're already doing its width away from the road it flattened um, I need to read that again a quick suggestion on the landscape flattening if you are you aren't already doing it it's width away from the road um, could, sorry man it's probably just me not understanding could you explain that again Okay, um, and then obviously then you can kind of come in and you can turn on like um, you know metal barriers, uh, and these obviously have you know that have the other junk. There's, there's, honestly, there's, I'm not joking. There's like 133 pieces in this, or 140 pieces in this pack. There's 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 there's, there's too many. So it works for all widths, um, all lane widths. And then you can change the rail to um, the inner inner barrier. So the inner barrier basically will work for like the concrete ones, like this. Uh, we also have like skinny plastic ones, which I personally nobble the sides, and so like they're not perfectly straight and they're not like you know artificial. Um, there's also the plastic fat as well. I might make these bigger in the future. I still feel like they're like they're only like a meter or something high. I might make them like ridiculously large. Um, what else? Oh yeah, and the rail as well. Um, she's got like little little nuts and bolts, and it's got a good amount of detail. Like it looks it looks realistic, and you can see the normal map on it. It's pretty tight, so that can take like a like you know you can do like a really a really close up like sequencer like pan through the um, at the level and it was still like you know high detailed and that, that's not what I meant it for like a lot of textures are 4k as well like you can always turn down those textures if you don't want 4k but I've kind of given the option there if you want them um, and then there's like there's a whole load of single assets as well so if you wanted to if you wanted to also um, just drop in pieces you can and they are in the barriers you can kind of like you know you can oh the the second big point uh, I'd, I'd, I'd add to this tutorial I would say is collision is always going to slow down your your building um, that's why we always leave it off and then activate it once you've finished it or once you're going to add to the road right so whenever you build the um, your road, always turn your collision off. Uh, it will speed up your workflow, and then when you're ready to actually like you know, use the environment, just kind of go in and at the top there's a little tip box that says collisions, and you can select your mul multiple roads with this, and then turn on collisions, and that's it. Now, now like your yeah, your track's pretty much ready to race on. I think I might have a player start in here, so let me just check to see if that works. Uh, do, do, do. Jesus, how low is this? Okay, one second. Let me see if I can get this stupid car up here. Alright, weapons now. Oh, okay. Nearly. So, uh, he started there. I've got a feeling there's two players. Yeah, there is two player starts. All right. So let's just. <laughs> I 
Okay, let's just move this properly. Stop being lazy. Okay. Stick this on here. Oh, it would fall right in the crack, wouldn't it? Alright. Dude, you're killing me, man. Absolutely killing me. Okay. Okay, so yeah, so you, so you turn the collision on, and then you're good. But you know what? It's going to be a. Yeah, ignore the, uh, the physics car. There's going to be points where you want to not have uh, barriers all the way down there and you can achieve that by having separate row pieces or you can also just like you know go into like each piece and say okay so when you get down to the bridge or yeah when you're down to the bridge let's turn off the the concrete barriers um and let's have that on like you know number 12 so number 12 no number eight let's say um inner barriers turn them off and number seven you don't really maybe i don't want inner barriers on there either so turn off inner barriers so whatever you turn on it'll do the opposite it'll invert it um yo when like when you bring the t um so yeah heavy cats asking like when you bring terrain to road you can basically create shoulders with the terrain rather than the edge of the road being right on a slope, so if you road eight meters wide, you can choose for the landscape to flatten out. Can tell me it was like, yeah, yeah, it's true. Um, oh yeah, that, that, that was kind of the you were talking about earlier, right? Yeah, you're right. I mean, I haven't played that much with it yet. Um, but yeah, I know exactly what you're saying. So if I do the deform with like, oh, see what I mean? So I'll just, I'll just try to drag this out now to change it. But the problem is because I've got collision turned on now, it's just like slowing me down. So um, turn off collisions whenever you work on a road piece. Okay, so, so what was this at? I was putting this like six feet. Actually, I'm not too sure what the result is going to be like right now. Okay, yeah, you mean like that, man? So we just kind of smoothed it off. Yeah, that... We were, st we were basically messing around with that, with that paint tool, because... It also kind of like gives you like a bit of a bump around the edge. Like that. And yeah, it does work really nice. Yeah, I like this tool, man. Okay, this. Let's update that. Yeah. Yeah, that's super cool, man. Yeah. You know what? I'm really enjoying this uh, Twitch for uh, for showing this sort of stuff. It's super enjoyable. Um, what else was it? Oh yeah, the the last thing, uh, the last thing you should do. Is the um, the vertex painting right? So the way that static meshes work on the Unreal um, spline is that when you basically whenever you like, if you change something, um, say if say this mesh here that's kind of spawned at the end, if I drag the spline back, it looks like it's disappearing, and it kind of is. And then when you pull it out again, it's not the same mesh coming back. It's basically an instance. So, if you had done any vertex paint on that piece, or say if you'd gone into the piece and you had basically um, like changed like the uh, change to a ramp piece, or you had changed the barrier, and you're gonna lose the vertex paint. So, 
Um, I mean, that's just Unreal spine system, so you can't change that. So, do you just, basically the tip is do your vertex painting at the end of your um, road and highway building. So, once you kind of get like, okay, this is my highway, okay, sorted. Uh, I like the way it's you know kind of going over the cavern. Oh, you know, on here, like, you know, I should do like the the legs longer, so it kind of goes to the ground. Okay, perfect. That goes in. Um, you know, once you're happy with the shape and Okay, yeah, I want the barriers here, here, then then go into your vertex painting. And this, let me just save this, okay. So now, um, I'm changing the vertex painting around because now I actually have blend on the sides. Um, I'll show you that. That's, that's something that's going to come in the first update. So you have the ability to blend, um, there'll be like a fall off paint around the edge. Um, and that's what's going to be blended onto the road so you can have like grass and um, leaves and twigs kind of like coming over the edge of the road or edge of the ground onto um, the road and there's the three channels at the minute um, I've got or well, in your pack you've got red green and blue at the minute I might have been changing them so just I've got many uh, the one green and blue Red's been changed and alpha's been changed as well. So yeah, you got the green and this is basically your uh, cracks. I think we're also gonna have a feature as well where we can like turn off, um, like hide all meshes apart from roads. Um, because you'll find like there's also like, you know, vertex paint as well on the, um, on the other pieces like, the bridge pieces. Oh yeah, also turn off the collision. Always remember that. If you can do edit, any edits, turn off the collision. It makes it so much faster. Okay, so yeah, I can paint this. And see that's painting a damage layer. So, if I want it like, just really fucking dirty and run down, you can go over that. Also, the material for this bridge. You see, you can make a cut... Um, some instances of the materials as well and then swap them out for you know the the main material the reason why we did this is because we don't want to have a, a whole gang of instances we wanted to like have all your rows running off the same material so you're not gonna have a lot of jaw calls but if you want to change and have a like a custom uh, material then just drag it into these boxes and then it will just literally overtake that road and you'll have um, a custom material for it I think that's the best way to do it. <clears throat> um, yeah, so that green color also paints damage, and yeah, you can, you can make this road as you know, nasty looking as you want, but the cracks, I fucking love the cracks in this, they're so fucking sick. Um, you can also change the scaling, the rotation of the cracks, so if you don't like the way they're you know, they're mirroring or if not the way they're kind of like they're, they're copying then you can just go in and like you know change all that um i've got a feeling i got a feeling oh yeah um concrete barriers also have a paint layer on them as well so i think we've got dirt on one layer yeah we've got mud on one layer and what else have we got onto this so much in this pack it is sick okay yeah that's the uh, blue channel i don't know if you can see that on my no you can't see that i'm an idiot all right if you look at my screen a second um that's the main window right okay so here we go see on the left hand side on the uh, vertex paint if you just like uh change the value on this to like the green and then you can kind of like you can then come in and paint paint your cracks paint them cracks paint them cracks right and paint dirt as well damage or like paint mud instead um there's also like a roadworks layer as well 
So, okay, for instance, you can just like paint a patch. Paint a patch on here. I don't think there's anything on that channel for, yeah, for um, the bridge. I have to check on that. It might just be like a white overlay or maybe like an empty texture. But yeah, that's something you, you don't really need, so just don't paint the bridge with that vertex paint. But one thing I wanted to show you was if you basically wanted to paint cracks, but obviously you don't want. Uh, this is getting a bit too busy. All right. Uh, uh, um. Okay. So say if you wanted the roadworks to not interfere with um, your cracks, because obviously the roadworks would have fixed the cracks. You notice that if you do the cracks, they paint around the roadworks, which I don't think that's amazing, but I would just I thought it was a nice detail to put in there. So if you turn off the roadworks and then paint over it, you'll see like the cracks go over the top and it's gone. I just thought that's, thought that's cool to have. So yeah, if you want to put it in, cracks get painted away and red works. Um, so yeah, you can literally just have like the thing as like random as you want. Um, just make every road look completely different. You know. It all depends how much detail you want to apply, but yeah, that's the only tip. Just kind of do that right at the end, so you don't lose any, um, you don't lose your lose your vertex paint. I'm sure like, there'll be a fix uh, in the future if a real change that, but yeah. Um, yeah, them black one. You probably don't use it that often, so you can either just like leave that. It's like either just like plain or just leave it a bit dirty instead. Is that one the dirt? Yeah, there we go. So that was more like a, the wet dirt. And obviously you can also go into the material and you can like change that as well. And you can kind of customize that. So the minute it's, 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 it's almost like it's been on a rainy day. I mean, to be honest, it's not that hard to change it now if I wanted to. If I just come into here and you can just see all these, all these are the, the main materials. And if you have a you know, barricade, um, barricade is just on here. And, and by barricade, right. So in this particular instance, we have the base, the base material, which is like your default. And then blue channel paints on these materials, green channel paints on those materials, and then you have um, your options. So you can like, for one, you can change like the mass of roughness and metallic. So yeah, there's not really any metallic on mud and concrete, but there we go. Uh, dirt amount. It just varies things to the other layers, but in this instance, it's affecting like the master. So sometimes you don't need those. I mean, because you're not you're not putting a black and white dirt mask. You're just kind of affecting the uh, the mud on this. And you can kind of see like it's um, it's pretty dirty as it is. Yeah, like I said, these are all 4K, man. So if you want to go crazy with these and really get some like high detail, then you can kind of go as close as you want to. Um, yeah, so that's it for the material instances. And uh, what does that one do? It's like some of them have like a, a color override, so you can kind of you can switch that on. It's just going to override the entire color. And it kind of depends what you need really. Like say if you wanted like a blue one and you didn't mind too much about uh, the changes on it. Just give it a second. 
Um, what else could I show you? Oh yes, I see we move that piece back. If you set the information on it, so this means that you'd have to go back to the uh, to the last one and just pop that option again to head the bridge or not. Yeah, hippie cat. Any more questions, mate? That one's painted on the uh, layer on the one we had, and then everywhere else is kind of painted onto the uh, the first layer. So um, the green channel one's a little bit darker. But yeah, there's just basically this, the whole gang controls there, just for getting like interesting results if you ever needed to to use that, you know. Well, personally, we don't need it, but. Um, I mean, it's, it's, it's kind of handy if you want to so have everything black. Right, you should turn it on, and now you've got all of these. Like, one solid, you know, color, with like varying different like dirt and damage effects on them. Um, but yeah, if you have any of the questions, let us know. Um, but yeah, regarding changing the road surfaces, you can kind of just go down and just drag on the different ones. So this one's a double to so get to the road, and then if you just find like the double triple wet, you can drag that on there and just like give you like a, a wet effect. And there's like the slight, slight weight, not weight, but like tremor in the uh, in the water I need to cross. Um, Hippie Cat says, "Let's always check covered it. Have, um, have about the showcase and pack. Uh, like I know what I'm doing now. <laughs> yeah, no worries, man. Um, yeah, that, that's." That's we're really kind of really happy that that Twitch is kind of good for that, you know, like because the documentation is like really, um, really like extensive. But I mean, I I always respond better to video tutorials, so we are gonna like you know bring out a tutorial. But in the meanwhile, it's you know it's really handy to have you know this to be able to um, you know to share and to you know showcase. The features and how to use the pack live, you know. Um, so yeah, that's basically how you just like change the, the the texture on there. So those those are like the templates we've kind of done for you guys. But you can go into the instance uh, and just change it as much as you want and go crazy, really. Yeah, it's, it's cool, man. You know, what, maybe I'll even include this example in the um, in the demo. I don't know. It's pretty easy, easy to make, but it's quite fun including that. Uh, oh yeah, and just make sure that whenever you like you you drag on the instance, just do it on the same to any of the roads you want to connect to it. That's pretty much it. Uh, this one as well. So the good thing about that now is now you have all of those using that material. You can kind of go in now and just. Um, yeah, change that whenever you want. Yeah, I mean, and those twinkles never gonna be a hundred percent perfect, but it's gonna get you pretty close. Um, yeah, I push a fix as well. There's there's also a fix in the pack as well. Um, I noticed that some of the curbs were lining up exactly perfect. So I've, yeah, like that one. 
Oh, no, that's because I've stretched it. So see what I mean by it? if you bring the curve down, and if you slight, not slightly, it's just like it's gonna happen if you like if you move this, see so see so the the curve's gonna stretch. So just just be aware that um, if you do like you know bend and deform the end junction piece, um, then it is gonna like you know, deform the outcome of the connection. But I mean to be honest, you can't really tell that much on that. Um, but that single piece shouldn't even be used in that double piece. It should be used in the solo piece. And that's what you get. And you get the right one. Or, if you don't want that, then you can always just... Um, you can always just change it for that instead. Um, yeah. Cool. Um, yeah, if you have any more questions, just let us know. Uh, I'm going to crack on with um, the road sign. Actually, I'm going to have a quick pee first, man. But yeah, pleasure showing you. Any more questions, just pop by and uh, just drop in, okay? Cool.